hi today let's talk about some basic of barracuda okay so i'm gonna create a new lab here okay my lab name is test one so let's get one barracuda image I'm gonna get one switch. I will layer two switch. Um, I need one computer from where I'm gonna access the Barracuda. So I'm taking this Windows Server images. I'm gonna make it a two Ethernet port. For the Barracuda Ethernet zero is all the time. This is the management port. So I'm gonna create open that management port, Ethernet port. I'm gonna connect it to, with this computer, and this computer I'm gonna connect to the internet. So for switch this port, I'm gonna connect to the Barracuda Ethernet one, and here I'm here I'm taking like some virtual PCs. I'm taking like three virtual PC. So let's start my server first because it will take so much time and I'm gonna start the Barracuda. So let's talk about something about the Barracuda. For the Barracuda we have the default IP address. I'm gonna write it write it down here. The default IP address for the Barracuda is 192.168.200.200. That's the management IP uh, like for, from this IP we gonna access this Barracuda firewall. Default username is root. And the default password is ngf1r3wall. That's the password. Okay. So let's open our Windows Server. And that's our Barracuda firewall. It, it, it's starting now. And one more thing like, we cannot access Barracuda firewall directly on our user tab. If it's like a web firewall then we can access it but for this kind of firewall we need uh, like any window computer or anything like which can support uh, like we're gonna access this firewall through this computer and to access all of these uh, firewall we have we should have to have one Barracuda admin portal so this is the one Barracuda admin portal so uh, it's installed in my local computer so i'm gonna import this image into our server in machine and from this server then i will access the barracuda we're gonna check it okay our server has been started now so i don't see any control alt delete options here so normally what i do control alt shift press text input control alt delete The default password is capital T E S T one two three. So this is our management IP for Ethernet zero.
and on this window server i'm gonna use the same range ip address i will put here 200.100 okay This is the IP address I'm gonna provide it on the server. Okay. So this server is connected on the Ethernet zero. In the beginning, it takes time. So Ethernet zero is like this is the one I'm talking about Ethernet one. That's it. So 200.100. That's the IP I need to provide, and the default subnet is 24. Okay. And the second port is it is connected via DHCP. So the second port, Ethernet one, it is connected to the internet via with the DHCP. I'm not going to change any IP address for this one. Just refresh the page. So in this meantime, while it is gonna save this IP address, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I need to import this admin console into this server. So if I go on my computer and in the Barracuda, in this folder there is we have the admin console so i'm gonna do right click properties so i have already shared this one that's the path and then okay so this ip has been updated now so 200.100 Or maybe we can access it from here. So what was the path? Double backslash. Amit PC users admin 
desktop barracuda the paste isn't working here so I'm gonna write it down Okay, I am able to open this one now. So I am gonna copy this one, the Barracuda admin console. And I'm gonna paste it on my desktop. So this is very important thing, thing. without it, I, we can, I cannot access my Barracuda. So I'm gonna double, double click on this one, open this one, admin. Run it. Okay, let's see our firewall has also started. This is the command mode. Like here we can like do the basic configuration via CLE. But we wanna do it a GUI now. So I don't think so. I, I I need this internet anymore. I just connected it to the internet just for this reason, so I can uh, import my file over here. So I'm gonna delete this one. So it will it will speed up my virtual machine. okay so it has started now so this is the first page where we can see so with the barracuda we can access through the control center or through the like director so right now we are connected our directly from this computer to the barracuda so i'm gonna use it direct so the default ip address is 192.168.200.200 and the username is root and the password is ngf okay that's the ngf ngf 1r 3wall n g sign in trust so it's the first time it is asking us to change the password continue yes so the old password is the same ngf 1R3WALL and the new password I'm using 123. Okay, password has been changed now. So let's log in back with the new password 123. So don't show again. We're gonna manage this firewall via admin or we don't wanna just monitor it. So I'm gonna manage via firewall admin. This is a little bit complicated with the barracuda because we have to have one virtual machine then install this portal then from then there we can access it 
so this is the first page we're gonna see from the barracuda if you check here this it will show the interfaces here application status like uh, how many because this is not license firewall it is on the dummy one so it, we do not don't have maximum services so in the barracuda most of the services is go with the license but we have some free services also we will check those things so this is i just want to show you how it looks like so right now barracuda there is only one port is connected ethernet 0 and it is it has the ip address so and th that's why it is showing up over here ethernet 0 so first time what we have to do all the configuration whatever we have to do in the barracuda it will go through with this tab configuration only assign services and from here we can access anything rest of these service it, th these are just for the monitor purpose only so we can monitor uh, the network ethernet 1 it do not have any ip address 2 3 4 5 nothing has any of ip addresses so licenses it will show what are the licenses we have no license found so it is a dummy for images on the box if we have to restart the our firewall we have to do it click on the operating system reboot the box or restart this software only or shut down this uh, firewall so these are like different different options we can work network if we make any changes in the network we have to activate these networks here we will check everything firewall it will show the live tra traffic so right now only one port is connected ethernet 0 with the ip 200.200 and this one is 200.100 so it is showing the live traffic so from 100.0 it is going to 200 so history it will check the all the logs users how many users are connected or how many uh, people have access to this firewall host rule so this is only for the monitor purpose only logs we will go we will check here but if you have to make any changes we will have to do it via this tab configuration tab okay so let's do a, like a some basic introduction of this firewall so right now ethernet one it is connected but here if you see see on the dashboard it, it doesn't show the reason we have to activate the virtual ethernet so what we do just click on the network first So uh, this is lock the screen. So we have to do lock the screen. It means like the screen is locked. Nobody can access this firewall. Only I have the access to this one and I can make the changes. If I'm going to unlock it later, then another technician, they can come and they can access it. If you will go over here, okay, we will do it later let's do something first interface right now it is showing only one ethernet zero so we have to go over here we have to make number of interfaces six okay then send changes activate It's a little bit slow my virtual machine activate if we still see still ethernet zero everything has been changed and activated so we have to go to control box you see like this uh, yellow warning box click on this one and activate new network configuration make it a fail safe it's 
if you go on the network we still see only one IP address is configured but if you will come on the dashboard we will it's still like zero because why it is if you see green it will like this Ethernet port has an IP address and it is active and working Ethernet 1 is still does not have anything so if we Ethernet 1 let's make an IP address Okay, and now all the like last time when we saw there was only one port was there Ethernet zero. Now we have like another five more ports. So let's configure first. Like just for the example, I, I will show how Ethernet one we can configure. Same lock the screen. First we have to create here a network. We can give any name. Suppose this is LAN network. Okay, which port? Ethernet one. Here we need to put the network slash 24 here we can add IP address 192.168.1.100 that respond to ping yes okay so this is trust level we can define here like uh, land trusted zone okay send change activate after that like this port will be up now okay activation has been completed now if you will go here on the dashboard still we see ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 two ports are active now if you go on the control panel we, but we still see like ethernet one it doesn't show any of the port we have to the, go to the box just give it some time it will be activated now if we don't show any port here like we can restart active network configuration Okay, now everything has been restarted now and we see like this like one option here like uh, just the notification on the network you click over here okay, if you click on the Ethernet one we will see like 192.168.1.100 has been configured now so we will see in the next video how we can configure everything but this is just a startup how can you uh, like how can we set up a Barracuda in our ENG or PNET environment dashboard if we have to make some another changes like okay this is just for the network thing if we have to do some basic level like we not we have to change the password so we can do from this box so configuration click uh, close this one configuration if we okay let's go click on this properties this is a box property it will show like which product we are using which model we are using and geolocation we can select it for this uh, barracuda like uh, which country we are living which on which time zone we are living if you go on the administrative setting It, here we can check uh, change the password like right now our password is one two three we can change the another password ACL is it should be the default zero 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 we can add the DNS here eight dot eight dot eight okay we have to log the screen 
and then cache DNS we can enable so all these options all these configuration we have to do it via configuration tab